Good morning, Kelly Williams, and welcome to day 18 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Marty with Summit Property Group in Houston. Wow, what a Friday we had yesterday. If you haven't watched the two videos that I uploaded yesterday with regards to several of the new changes that have happened within Command, do yourself a favor and check those out. They're super short and yet super impactful with regards to some of the new things that are happening in Command. Today we're going to be in the Opportunities sub-menu again. This is changing to Sales Pipeline very soon, so you'll actually see Sales Pipeline is listed here. Um, with regards to GCI, we're going to talk about percentages and how this GCI is kind of uh, calculated, if you will. So you can see with regards to listings, I have three listings inputted into my Sales Pipeline. One is in the appointment stage, one is in the active, and one is under contract, right? So. With regards to these three, the system is telling me that my probable income is just about 2,500. However, my potential income is over 10,000. Well, how can that be? When we get into the actual phases, you'll see that each stage, right, has a commission listed here. Now that's gonna be the total commission. The reason this one is zero is I haven't actually entered a probable list price for this listing. So we'll do that first. So when I click on the listing, if it hasn't actually gone live, if it's gone live, you can select the listing live from the KWLL system here. If the listing hasn't gone live, you can put in the estimated list price. So let's say it's 300,000. Okay, so there's the estimated list price. I'm gonna come down to the bottom and click on save. Once that gets saved, I can come back to my pipeline and you'll see the commission has updated to $9,000. So if I go back to my pipeline, well, then that should have increased by $9,000, right? Well, the potential income did, but the probable income didn't necessarily do all the way to $9,000. So why did that happen? Well, that's based upon the percentages that you have put in. So if we go back to under contract and we say edit stages, the escrow stage shows a 90% probability once I get this listing under contract and into escrow, I know based upon this system, it shows that that's a 90% probability that that's going to close, that I'm going to get paid. Now, if you feel like, hey, sometimes when we get into escrow, it doesn't always work out. My escrow to close rate personally might be 80%. I could come in here and change that to 80%. Right, so when we first go under contract into escrow, it gets to 80%. While we're still in inspections, okay, well, if they've actually done inspections, maybe it goes up to 85%. And once we get through the option period, at least that's what we call it here in Texas, get through the option period and we're into the appraisal and financing period, it goes up to 90%. Once I have clear to close, I would say that's probably about 99% of the time we've got clear to close that the deal will close. So I'm gonna change that probability. Now, once we have those done, we can come back to the sales pipeline. And then this commission will always be 9,000. That's based upon the commission percentage that I put in and the estimated sales price. So 300,000 commission rate of 3%. So that's always gonna stay at whatever that math is, 9,000. However, let's look at the sales pipeline. Right now it says probable income 96.75. All right, so let's go back to that transaction that we had and let's move it over a little bit. So you can see down here at the bottom, it actually says probable versus potential. So if I move it into X, uh, inspections, excuse me, it goes from 7,200 to 7,650. Now, once I get out of option period, we said that that went up even higher. So now I'm at 8,100. And then if we keep sliding over, well, we said, hey, if it gets to clear to close, I've got a 99% chance of actually getting paid. You'll see down here at the bottom, probable income 89 with potential income. Chat kind of covers it, but that says 9,000. If I go back to my pipeline now, you'll see, right, that the probable income has now gone up to 11,385. Potential income is only at 19350 because remember I have these other two listings, one's active and one's still in the appointment phase. My percentages in the appointment phase might be significantly lower. And then even once I get them active, there's still a chance they may not close, right? We may have them expire, hopefully not. And yet you guys can go into each one, starting with Cultivate, edit your stage, 
and then change your percentages within here. Okay, so for each one of your stages, you can customize the probability, which then once you get to your sales pipeline, it will show you, okay, overall, what is my potential or probable income, excuse me, and what's my potential income? If every single one of my transactions closed, I would have potential income of almost 20 grand. However, based upon the current stages and phases, my probable income is more like 11385 Great tool for us to be able to forecast um, our budget models, keep track of our expense models, you know, making sure that we're staying in line with MREA and not overspending. Um, we certainly don't want to be spending, you know, $20,000 and only have probable income of $11,385. Um, if a deal busts out, then we're in trouble scrambling to find the income necessary to um, keep our business, you know, in the, uh, in the black, if you will. So that's it, guys. That is day 18 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Get in here, get into sales pipeline. You can even create an opportunity. Just create a test one like I did, right? I just created a test contact, Mr. Seller, a seller, right? And then I created an opportunity based off of that. Um, we'll do some of that and we'll be sending some offers about our opportunities here coming up soon as well. So hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. As always, I look forward to speaking with you in the morning.